Mopars, they have so much character to them, you just gotta bring it out of them. My name's Tony Pruch. I'm out of uh, Dallas, Texas. Traveled here for the first time to try out the Moparty. It's a 1971 GTX. We've basically taken an, an older version of a car and, and modernized it. We put a, a Viper V10 in there and uh, really kind of, you know, just brought it back to, to be current for today's market. You take a third generation engine like that, stretch the front end about two inches, move the radiator forward another two inches, and you got some just one heck of a beast. And, you know, the goal was is to try to keep everything as, as, as original as it could be but still be able to keep, you know, the new modern technology. And I think that the, the outcome of this has just been phenomenal. It's not loud and bolsterous. It's just kind of mean and clean. All my collection, I've always wanted to have really nice stuff. And it doesn't mean I'm gonna start with nice stuff, but at the end product, I really want it to be something special and something unique. In a month's time, I'll probably put three, 400 miles on it. Spend a lot of time. I just want people to see what can be done with these cars and to take something that's not necessarily one of the most favorite Mopars out there, but to see it in this condition really shows people what they can do with their car. And so I, I wanna show that to people. That's, that's why I drove eight hours to get here. They're, they're not making any more of them. If we don't restore them and bring them back, then they're just gonna disappear because the ages today are not gonna remember the magnitude of what these did to our lives. Golly, I remember, you know, 15 years old out there with my 1970 Monte Carlo and me and my dad out there wrenching on it, you know? And uh, my dad's not with me anymore, but now it's, it's my opportunity to come out here and polish on a car or work on it and, and just keep that memory alive.